Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to make a 100 watt portable inverter which you can carry for outdoor picnic and run light, fan, music, system or similar up to 100 watt. You can also charge your phone with it. But first, I would request you to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. To make this inverter, we would require all these parts, but first, let's see the circuit for the inverter, which is based on the very popular CD4047 high voltage multi vibrator IC. Here, a 10 nanofarad capacitor and a 390 register, along with a 100k preset register, is used to set the output frequency to around 50 Hz and get two output pulse at pin 10 and 11 inverted to each other. Two 220 ohm register delivers those pulses to the gate of the IRFT250 MOSFETs. Both the MOSFETs power the transformer alternatively, thus producing alternating current at its primary coil, which is secondary in our case. 0.1 microfarad capacitor and a 400 volt MOV is connected at the output AC side. The temperature control fan for cooling the MOSFET is built upon LM393 op amp IC, which acts as the voltage comparator in our case. A 10k preset register is connected for setting the turning on point of the fan. The 4.7 kilo ohm register along with the 10 kilo ohm thermistor acts as a voltage divider. The output of the op amp IC is connected to a BD139 transistor for driving the cooling fan. The inverter circuit is first built on a piece of power board with CD4047 IC in the center. The capacitor and all other registers are placed onto it. The board is flipped and all the individual legs of the components are soldered. So here we can see both the waveform and the frequency around 50 Hz. And both the waveforms are 180 degree out of phase to each other then we move to the temperature control fan circuit which is similarly built on a piece of power board with lm393 ic in the center the registers and the 10 kilo ohm register preset is placed along with the bd139 transistor here you can see a flame brought near the thermistor triggers the IC to turn on the fan. Here sticking the Kapton tape on the heat sink to isolate the drain pins of both the MOSFETs. MOSFETs are placed on the heat sink with some thermal paste and further secured them to the heat sink with bolts. For making the cover of the inverter, a 4mm acrylic sheet is heated with a hot air gun to bend it to shape as a cover. The front and back cover of the inverter is designed in Fusion 360 and is 3D printed in black PETG filament. Few holes are drilled out on both the sides of the acrylic cover for ventilating out the hot air from the MOSFETs mounted kitchen. Four 12mm black rubber feet is screwed to the 12mm thick acrylic base of the inverter. Then the main transformer of the inverter is securely fixed to the base with four nuts, bolts and washers.
A piece of acrylic sheet is glued on top of the transformer for mounting the inverter circuit and temperature control fan circuit. Another two tube is glued on both the sides to pass the wire. Both the power supply from the battery is connected to the volt and ammeter. Two battery connector clips are connected at the end of each of the DC power lines. The input power supply wires of both the circuits are connected together and connected to the switch.
The negative power line is soldered to the source pin of both the MOSFETs in parallel and the two wires from the transformer is soldered to the drain pin of the MOSFETs respectively. The thermistor from the temperature control fan circuit is fixed into a screw terminal clip and tightened to the heat sink. The cooling fan wires are connected with wires coming out from the temperature control fan circuit. A 0.1 microfarad capacitor and a 400 volt MOV is connected to the output of the transformer to the AC outlet socket. Two wires from the switch are soldered to the bicolor LED indicator with two 1 kilo ohm registers at each end. Finally, the outputs of the inverter circuit are connected to each of the gate pin of the MOSFETs along with a 10 kilo ohm register from gate pin to the ground.
A handle is attached for easy carrying of the inverter. And finally the acrylic cover is closed. Here I am running a table fan from the inverter. It is drawing around 4 amps of current from the battery and consuming about 50 watt of power. Here to note that around 8 watt of power is lost in the transformer. Here a 9 watt of LED bulb is powered on with the inverter. You can download all the schematic from my GitHub account mentioned in the video's description. If you like this video, please press the like button and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.